Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Evans with Sip and Tyler Films. And in this video, we're going to talk about the gap runs that the Ravens use to uh, put the hammer on the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, gap runs include power, counter, uh, some variation of Bucks Week. Uh, but there were a ton of good runs, not just only those kind of runs in the game, but the gap runs really stood out to me, especially with that one set where like it was all linemen and tight ends in the game and Lamar and the running back. That really made me like open my eyes and be like, wow. But again, I appreciate you uh, for coming here and to sit the tell the films and enjoy, enjoying this film. And um, cue the intro. <laughs> All right, let's start off with this play. And again, a lot of counter. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. A lot of counter, a lot of power, a lot of bug sweep. But uh, really interesting to see how the Ravens just bludgeon the Chiefs in the run game with, with their gap schemes. Let's start with this one. Let it play through. That's a marking idea earlier, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> Keep going back. A little counter action. And then Tyson gets about five yards. So let's bag it up and talk about it. Let's bag it up and talk about it. So now those lines are coming into play. So what should happen is, I'm thinking this counter. Ben Powell should get a, not being Powell, Bozeman should get a, a solo block there. It should be a double here to the backside backer. Uh, Andrew should kick this dude. No, Andrew's probably going to arc this dude because he's the kick out for Ben Powell. This is Ben Powell's guy. This is the Waves guy when they pull. And then Sammy probably going to try to take this guy head on. So they're getting a little misdirection by putting Ricard in motion that way. Now that moves the linebackers back in a, in a, a, a good leverage position for the O-line. So they probably thinking power because when he come in motion a lot, we run power to that side. But now you get count on the back side. So Ben getting his kick out block. Alejandro's trying to wrap to this guy, but also Marcus coming in and crashing down on that guy too. Now what, what you see is Thompson trying to cut Chris Jones off, trying to, but not succeeding. But he gets enough of them to where we still going to get a positive yardage. So you get the, the two guys on that guy. Really, one of these linemen should have came off here, or maybe Mark should have come off here. I'm not sure. But when you when he bounces it, now he has an alley. Look at the alley. It's a nice alley to get about seven yards. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Make sure I'm oh yeah, mic on. Got Devontae Freeman in the backfield now. Big run by Devonta. I think it was for like 31 yards. Let's see what happened that allowed Devonta to do that. Actually, showed a little burst on that too. Got out of there quick. All right. So again, the theme of this video is gap schemes. So you're gonna get a counter look. So to me, this I think this is counter bash. But what you should get is a down block here. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna double because the technique he's in, but Alejandro should wash him down. Ben should maybe get some on him and go there to that linebacker. Um, Bredesen should kick out this guy right here. And McCarr should be wrapping to linebacker. Um, let's see. Since it's Bash, McCarr mm, should do something with 55. Because they're, re no, they're, I think they're, they're reading Chris Jones. McCarr is probably going to block 55. Let's see. Chris Jones and the, they just take off. They try to get in the hip of the pullers. That's one of the a defensive coaching points, like to try to stop counter stuff like that. Get in the hip of the pullers. And that way when the back comes this way, you, you tackle it. But we're not doing regular counter. They're doing bash. So the back is going the opposite direction of the pullers. And if anybody runs it, it'll be the quarterback. So with them crashing down like this, the read is an automatic give. Now the key is, what does this guy decide to do? Because he's really supposed to be blocking him. But he can't at this point. Look at the leverage. He can't block him. So he says, forget it. I'll just catch this guy, you know, coming off this edge. And Devontae is, is over with right now. He's in front of Lamar. He's dead. He's looking at Lamar. He's dead. 
All Devontae got to do is, which he's about to do, stick that foot in the ground and get north. He out the gate. Easy play design. Easy peasy because everybody was so focused on stopping Lamar. So this this is this is the very next play. The very next play. Another counter, another gap scheme. Similar got the same look, but remember the last one he put um Freeman right here. He keep he got Tyson in now. So now you're getting a little counter or power look, no a counter look. You're going to get a pull by Zeitler, I think. So Zeitler should kick out. Um, Ricard should wrap to 57. So Zeitler should pull for 55. Ricard should be coming right behind him, fitting there. Now the key is, normally you would get, oh, here you go. Yeah, you got your down block here. That's going to be your down block. Uh, who is this? Bozeman should take care of that guy. And um, McCarr should stab and hinge to make sure he can't come get it from backside. Let's see if that happens. All right, they get, you get a double there. So they this is the double to that guy. You got a solo by Bozeman. You got he stabbing the hinge and to make sure fifty one can't shoot the gap. You got uh, Zeitler pulling for fifty five. You got Ricard pulling for this cat, and then you should see the gap open up where the hole open up. Now the hole should fit right there, but he spills it. And I don't know if you don't know what spill mean is. He basically they, it's wrong. They call it wrong shoulder, wrong shouldering or spilling. So when I don't know if this Frank Clark or whoever sees the puller coming, he's gonna take this inside shoulder and throw it in the gap to try to make the play bounce outside, which works, which works. He threw his shoulder in there, which works. But this guy's smart. This guy right here is so smart. So instead of trying to force it in there, we are gonna log it. So if when he throw that shoulder in there, this guy gonna log it, get on that outside shoulder, make sure he stay in there. He gonna bounce to the outside, pick up the first thing that show up, then look at the hole that we have. And really, William set the block up too, pressing it outside, allowing him to get there. Then look at that hole. Look at that daylight right there. Boom! Hold on to the ball though. Hold on to the ball. Good play design. Good play design. Good execution. And, and the, the guy that makes it work for me is, is Ricard. Because, again, he's supposed to slam it in there right there. But because that guy um, wrong shoulder or spilled it, kicked that guy out, it's just your place. Just your place. He ain't trying to force his job. He was he know, he know the scheme. And he know what's supposed to happen. So he was able to fit in there. Boy, look at the mass on that field now. You got Let's, let's, before we even get to the play, just look and see what's on the field. You got Andrews right here. You got uh, Ricard. You got Alejandro. You got Big Ben Cleveland. You got Bozeman. Zeitler. Uh, Macari. Castillo Colon. And uh, Oliver. That's how many. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No receivers. Everything in the box. That's, that's massive right there. Let's see what we do. More lit counter. More counter. So let's watch. Let's see what's going on. Finally get a chance to see Ben Cleveland. Come out here and mash on some people. So with that being said, Ricard is the the rap guy. Ben Cleveland is the kickout guy. So Ben's going to come around all this. First person that shows up on the edge, he's going to kick him out. Once Ben kicks out, whoever he kicks out, Ricard should then... Turn up off that kick out to the first linebacker that show up. Let's see what happens. You're going to start on the back side. All right. So Alejandro and a Andrews just cutting off. Just cutting the gap off where Cleveland pulled from so nobody can shoot that gap. So they taking care of that guy and that guy. You're getting a solo block by Bozeman here. You're getting a double team with uh, Zeitler and Macari on that guy. Probably that double team should end up on this backside backer. Uh, Castillo Cologne got a guy solo out here. Uh, Thomason looking like he's coming in to maybe get the linebacker. Let's see. Uh, Thomason decides to help with Castillo Cologne. 
So now that puts this guy being the first thing on the edge and me being Cleveland. Boom. That's movement right there. That's movement from Cleveland. Make the hole bigger. Oof. Then you get you get Ricard coming right around on that linebacker. Hmm. The entire son just hitting it. Look at it. Look at it open up. Look at Thomason on the on the on the linebacker. Opening it up. Boys working. Look at the boys working. Everybody going back. So look at look at Thomason. Thomason right here. Watch the snap on, on this linebacker when he hit him. Just watch that. Bam. All right. Look at the snap when Cleveland hit his guy. Right here. Watch the snap on this one. Boom. Now watch the snap on him when Mason hit him. Mm. Everybody's standing up. And you got to add it to run through. Got to add it to run through. Let's see what. Now finish the run, Williams. Good cut. Good finish of the run. You know, you know I had to get a Lamar run in. Had to. Same drive as the, the drive with the with all the linemen in. Just bash again. Good old counter bash. 53 you don't stand a chance. All right, let's talk about it. Again, it's counter. Let's see how it lines up. All right, you're going to get bash, B-A mean back away. So that's why Devontae Freeman is going that way. And the ideal of him going that way is to neutralize this dude. This dude either has to widen to stop that, that outside zone look, or if he comes straight at Lamar, Lamar gives you know shuffles with him, gives it to him, and then he he's outflanking that dude out there. That's the bash part of it. Let's look at the counterpart. So the counterpart is Ben should not Ben. Bozeman should come here. Zeitler should go there. Makari should, uh, let's see what Makari got. Makari should come there. He should check this double team, and then if he got him, work there. Uh, Cleveland should wrap to 57. No, I'm lying. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Cleveland should kick out this guy. Alejandro should wrap to 57. All right. Oh, this is something different. This may be like a little buck sweep type deal. Or just pull the uncovered guy. It's athletic by you, Bozeman. Snap and pull. That, that, you know, a lot of centers can't do that. It's athletic right there. Oh, a little different. Okay, a little nuance. I, I see you, uh, G. Row. But again, same concept, though. So instead of, instead of, um, I, can, he was a ways back there. That Then that makes sense. Because it's, it's tough to, for a center to get a three. You know, on the back block. So that that makes sense to just pull this guy. So now he's going to kick out 37. And Alejandro still should be pulling for this guy. Kicks out 37. And doesn't allow him to wrong shoulder it. 37 tries to get inside of it. But he just don't allow it. Now, Alejandro has a nice lane to get up on that dude. You see Makari walling off the, the backside linebacker. And Frank Clark has to respect Devontae Freeman coming across. He has to. Now, what should happen is Lamar should bounce it up in there. But this dude going to fit in and close that down. Lamar sees it. Now it's a foot race. Him in the open field is dangerous. Dangerous. All right, this is the last one I'll give you for this session. I think this is Power Read. Power Read. And I'll let it play first and I'll explain what's going on. Nice game. Nice game by uh, Williams. Let me back it on up and talk about it. So, Power Read is, is the traditional power play for all these guys up in this box initially on power you would have somebody to maybe the tight end to kick this guy out you'd have a puller pulling there and then you'd have the back hidden behind it but on power read you're now going to read this guy you don't have nobody to kick him out you're going to read him and if he chooses to go with the running back because the running back is going to go that way kind of like what freeman did but the running back's going to go that way if he wides with the running back the quarterback's gonna keep it and you know come get behind that puller that's gonna pull, which in this case is gonna be 
I look like Ben Powers. If he decides to crash into it, he'll run into the puller, and the quarterback will give it to the running back going outside, which is what happened. The quarterback gave it to the running back. You're, you're going to see 50, whatever number this is, when he crashes down, because he gonna, I messed that up. Let me go for a little further. All right, he's going to crash down. He should crash down. He should crash down. He should step in and hinge and try to cut that gap off. He's going to pull around. And not pulling around for 51. He's pulling around for a linebacker or anything that shows up. And I think uh, Andrews is just going to arc and be like a lead blocker. Oh, this is the read guy watching. Lamar eyes going straight to him. He shuffles down to try to close it off. So now I'm just going to give it. Because if Lamar had Lamar kept it, remember this dude not blocking 51. He hit 51 with hit him in the mouth right there. Let's see why I see why he passed him up? Because he's the read guy. That's why he's not blocking. He passed him up. So now by him passing him up and just like being a, a shield, he automatically blocks him. But now he's going to try to go get somebody else. Even though he, that guy still makes the play, but he look how far down the field he makes it. And he really even missed that tackle. So, again, and this is only, I don't even know how many plays I just did. Five or six plays of gap schemes. And, and gap schemes are power, counter. Uh, I, and I want to say book is a little gap, too, but it's more out, it's outside zone, too. It's a little combination of both. But you didn't see traditional, traditional power in this film study, but it was in the game. And just as a ton of powers and counters and like Latavius runs were split zone you had some um split outside zone too that was fire it was it was a lot of nice runs in this game uh a, a lot to to see and learn from like because it's a lot to prepare for too especially that look with all those um tight ends and extra linemen in there that's that's nasty right there boy that is nasty because you still got two running backs in the game you know if you do that you got um a fullback in, in, in record, and then you got the tailback and whoever that decides to be. And Lamar can run it too. So you really got you got two running options in the, just in the backfield, even if you put Ricard on the line. So that's that that's crazy. But, again, this is the second film session of the day. I had to come home and get a little work in um, just to, you know, feed the people. Feed the people. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please comment. Drop the comments down there so we can talk more ball. And I, I know I got one more film session coming. Hope Maybe two. But I know I got one more coming. Maybe even two. And uh, my Patreon people, I ain't forgot about you too. I dropped something over there for you earlier today. I'm going to add a little more to that tomorrow. But again, um, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm this Coach Evans with Sit the Tally Films. And I'm out. We'll